Recently, so badly has the image of our judiciary deteriorated that many of our citizenry openly make mockery of our justice system and of our justices. The phrase, go to court, is these days met with derisive laughter instead of hope that one would truly get justice if he went to the courts. If people are not poking fun about politics and inducements being used to sway the hand of justice in the lower courts, then it is poking fun and making statements about the 7-0 of the unanimous FC. <laughs> Verdicts which mostly involve cases of a political nature in our Supreme Court. This is an unfortunate but serious development. One of the scariest existential threats to any democracy is when citizens think their judiciary holds no value for them or no use to them. And this is the security threat that the national security apparatus tried to draw the attention of the nation to recently, but was poorly received by the president and his party. It is scary because it threatens the peace and stability of our democracy. And we must quickly correct this fast spreading notion. If care is not taken, we'll get to a stage where people will have no qualms about taking the law into their own hands because they do not have the confidence that they can get any justice from the system. There is therefore the urgent need for the Ghanaian judiciary to work to win the trust and confidence of the citizenry and erase the widely held perception of hostility and political bias in legal proceedings at the highest courts of the land. Unfortunately, we have no hope that the current leadership of our judiciary can lead such a process of change. We can only hope that a new Chief Justice will lead a process to repair the broken image that our judiciary has acquired over the last few years.